Hello again, everyone, and thanks very much for joining us. A native of St. Lucia, Dr. David Williams, was educated in the United States and holds an endowed chair in public health at Harvard University, where he studies the public health consequences of public policy and, one suspects, private suspicion. At the Clinton Presidential Library, the Clinton School of Public Service, racial healing in the American South is subject. Dr. Williams, thank you very much for being with us. Good to be here. Progress, not perfection. No one would argue that we're even close to perfection, but how much progress in terms of healing, reconciliation? Well, I think we have started the journey, and we have to acknowledge the progress we've made and, and give ourselves credit for what we've done, but also recognize there's, there's a long way still to go. So uh, an example of the uh, progress we've made is there have been dramatic changes, shifts, on the order of 40, 50 percentage points um, in terms of uh, racial attitudes in the United States. And the direction of those attitudes are much more positive, much more egalitarian, much more support for equality for all. Uh, I'll give you a concrete example. In the um, early 1940s, um, more than half of whites said that whites should have the first chance at any job in the United States. And by 1973, Less than 5% of whites wanted that. that. That's a big shift. And, and that kind of commitment to equality is evident in every domain, housing and education and health care. You see those positive trends um, supportive of equality. And yet, big gaps in public health, in education and attainment levels, in housing, uh, in almost every field of human endeavor. And even the attitudinal data gives us a hint as to what the, what the process is. Researchers who study this area talk about the principal implementation gap. And that is, there are more people, there are many people who support the principle of equality who will not support policies to achieve equality. And it, it's um, as you cannot expect individuals who have been shackled by chains and put them at the start of, uh, of a line to, to run a, a marathon or even a 100-meter dash and expect them, if they haven't had any training or any preparation, to be successful compared to those who've had it. So we, we really need to have a, a commitment to policies that would, would um, address the, the deficits that have existed historically and provide everyone an opportunity to achieve the, the, the benefits that American society offers.